Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Skills. Welcome back to another one of my FIFA 20 Ultimate Team videos. Oh, wait, just kidding. Wait a minute. Pump the brakes. Career mode. You guys know how passionate I am in career mode. First of all, let's address a few things. First of all, my voice. I am losing my voice, my boys. My voice is very, very, very much gone. Number two, the shirt, the swag. You guys are going to say, Skills, what are you wearing, bro? What is actually on your chest? Look, bros, it is the summertime, it is hot outside, and I'm making the best of a tough summer, all right? So I'm wearing a beach shirt to make me feel happy. So don't make fun of my shirt. W or L in the comments down below for the shirt. Now, Arsenal career mode. Let's speak about this for a minute. I promised my viewers career mode in the summertime. After team of the season, I would do it. And I haven't done it. And people have been tweeting me about it. People have hit me up in my stream about it. And I said, listen, I don't know if my viewers want career mode or not. I don't know if you guys care about career mode or not. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a target super high. Career mode viewers always get the likes. So look, I'm going to leave it at like 15 or 20,000 likes. If you guys get this, I know you want to see career mode. All of us are kind of sick of Ultimate Team. I understand. Ultimate Team's pretty boring. It's late into Ultimate Team. A lot of you guys want to see a career mode. Why did I pick Arsenal? Arsenal is a team that is very, very... We always do Arsenal. Every single FIFA, we do Arsenal. Um, every I've done career mode my entire YouTube career. I stopped doing so much career mode when foot chance became such a big thing, but Arsenal's always been a big part of the channel, and they're a team that honestly need to be brought back to life. They need their glory days back. People thought Arsene Wenger had to step out, all kinds of craziness, stuff like that. And I, I just feel like it's time to make them great, man. It's time to bring back Arsenal. So without further ado, let's do it. Listen, if this gets 15,000 likes, I know you guys want this, man. And I know you guys want to see more of it. And I swear to you, man, I like uploading career mode. I just need to know that you guys want to see career mode. That career mode is something you guys will enjoy. Because if you guys aren't enjoying it and 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 the, the most of you don't want to see it, then it's, it's, it's the wrong thing for me to upload it to you guys. It's just me uploading it to, to people who don't really care for it. So with that being said, let me know you want to see it and get involved. You guys know how this goes. Every single career mode I do, you guys pick who I buy, who I sell, all that stuff. Now, one guy I want to bring to the team that you could tell by the thumbnail is Neymar. Why? Because I feel like Arsenal lack that. What I mean by that is they lack a huge, huge superstar. In my opinion, Aubameyang is a superstar. Aubameyang is a great player, an unbelievable player. At the age of 30, he's a remarkable. But I think it's time for Ozil to leave. I think it's time for Lacazette to leave. I think it's time for David Luiz to leave. I think it's time to beast up this entire defense except for Bellerin because he's amazing. Maybe Saka as well. But everybody on the back line needs to go. Leno can stay. Maybe an upgrade of CDM. Pepe's fine. Aubameyang is fine as our striker, point blank period. Lacazette can possibly leave, and we're going to be bringing in Neymar. I think Neymar would be, him and Aubameyang could be great players. But not only that, this team lacks depth. This team lacks oomph. This team lacks a lot, dude. And we're going to give that team the makeover they need. So without further ado, let's go down the list. Who's selling? Who's staying? All right, we'll go to goalkeepers first. We got too many goalkeepers. Um, this man is 24. This man is 26. This man's already on loan. We're going to put one more player out on loan as well. And it's this. Actually, I'm going to sell him. 24 years old. You can go. A left back, 26 years old, 77 overall. Hon honestly, with Tyranny being here, I know I say his name wrong. We got Bola as well. And we got this left back. Um, I'm leaning towards letting go of the man from Bosnia. I feel like we can get some money here. Our backup doesn't need to be crazy good. I don't know, am I? Let, 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 let's wait. Mustafi, 27 years old, he stays. David Luiz, end of his contract regardless, we're letting him go. He looks like he's on his way back to Benfica in real life. Hey, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Please don't make fun of my shirt. Um, He's on his way out. David Luiz, looks like he's going back to Benfica possibly at the end of the year. He had an incredible game against Man City, but I think his time has come. Socrates stays. Um, young center back here. We put him on loan. Oh, I messed up. I want to go back in. We're going down this entire list, boys. We're going down this. We're cleaning out the club, dude. Going to make some big changes. Um, how we feel here? Chambers, he stays. Another young center back. Put him on loan. 
um holding young as well he stays now stays as backups these guys will never start we need starters bellerine stays um then we move down to cedric yes this is what i like to see now here's the deal we got cedric and bellerine two good right backs the both of them now he's on loan cedric is so obviously bellerine's our number one that's how we're gonna keep it another good right wing back um in Niles, it's too many good right wing backs, man. In my opinion, Jaka. How do how do we feel about Jaka? Um, I like him and I dislike him. I'll be honest with you. Ganduzi, big big boy chilling. Um, my boy Lucas, love everything about Lucas. This team has a lot of good CDMs, man. Lucas, Ganduzi. Um, I could let Jaka go, but I don't think we will. We got Danny, good player, man. Twenty two years young. We got uh, my boy Willock. He's a cam. We can stay around. Uzzel. Time to go, my boy. Time to go, my boy. Time to go. I don't know why my boy Mkhitaryan's out on, on loan, but he is. We could possibly bring him back. We got Pepe. Great player. My man Gabriel. Great player. Could play striker, left mid, or left wing. We got Nelson. Um, And I think this is where it gets tricky. Lacazette. Can we make a lot on him? Aubameyang's our number one striker. I'm not playing him at left mid. I'm not playing him at right mid. He's my striker. Point blank period. I'm not playing him anywhere except for striker. So with that being said, honestly, I think it's time for Lacazette to go, man. I think it's time for Lacazette to go. I think. We'll see how it plays out, but I think it might be time for Lacazette to go. With that being said, we got preseason. We got to try to bring in Neymar. If we can't get Neymar, I want a big name player. Mbappe. Neymar, not Messi or Ronaldo, but I want a big name player here at Arsenal. I want a man that everyone wants to buy his jersey. I want a man that people talk about. I want a star here. You look around, Chelsea had Hazard. You know what I'm saying? Man City has players like Aguero and Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, um, Liverpool has Salah and Mane. And, and you, they have stars. We have Aubameyang, and that's really it. There's no, Lacazette's cool. People like Lacazette, but I want stars. I want stars. I want players that 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 young kids look up to and want to be like. So we need a star here, man. We really, really need a star. Hey, I'm surprised, but glad. Um, you wait. You're taking a step without me having to ask. Wow. On behalf of the whole team, I'd like to give a warm welcome. Wow, Lacazette kind of feeling feeling some type of way towards me. Okay, listen. I'm not doing this because I dislike Lacazette. I'm doing this because I want a brighter future for this club, man. Now, with that being said, let's check out this boy Neymar. What would it take for us to bring in Neymar? Um, is it worth us bringing in Neymar? 27 years old. Man has a release clause of 220, 220 million is his release clause. He's expensive, dude. He's very, very, very expensive. Can we make it happen? Look, I'm not going to lie. I want to go throw the kitchen sink at this guy. 27 years old, could play cam. Bro, he could play the cam position. We replace Uzil for him. Like, are you serious? We keep Pepe on the right. Uzil, uh, Neymar behind my man Aubameyang. And then out on left mid, we pick up another left mid. Bro, everything about this makes me want to make this happen right now. Like, everything. I, I don't know how much money I got. I got to check real quick, man. I only have... 90 million i literally only have 90 million it's an issue i ain't gonna i ain't gonna hold you it's, it's an issue but um let's see if i can give myself some more oof man it's gonna be tough to try to bring this man in it's gonna be tough to try to bring him in bros i'm not gonna lie to you i gotta find a way to bring him in and it might be with Lacazette leaving. All right, so the first work of business is a young man on loan. I'm going to go ahead and accept it. Let him go get some playing time in Toronto. And again, bro, I don't think it's going to be easy. It's going to be a tough task. And throwing the kitchen sink at someone like Neymar is kind of an L. It is because we need defenders. We need defenders are a must for this club. They need a back line. Leno needs help. I understand that. But at the same time, like I'm telling you guys, we need a superstar, man. It's something that we just need. This kid rejects going to Toronto. I just feel like this club is in need of one huge superstar. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys are like, yo, this is the wrong move. Don't make this move. But I just, man, when's the last time 
We looked at Arsenal and be like, yo, Thierry Henry, like just had a superstar, bro. I feel like it's Thierry Henry. I feel like it's, and Aubameyang's a star, dude. Don't get it twisted. Aubameyang is a star, but ah, I'm telling you right now, man. I'm telling you right now, man. They want to loan, they, they, they want Willock. Do I let him go? Nah, nah, he's staying. I'm using him. So it's a lot of loan offers for a lot of my young kids, but it's not the big moves. I need someone to come in and try to get Uzil. I need someone to come in and try to get the boy Lacazette. I need someone to come in and give me some money. I need to sell players for some money. We're going to get all three wins, win the group easily. That's my team, Benfica, right there. We just smashed. Um, easy, easy victories right there. We end up winning the group in preseason. It's what you like to see. Get that winning mentality going around here. But again, we need, here we go, Lacazette. Here we go, my boys. So Napoli steps in with an offer of just 43 million. We want anywhere from 52 to 77 million. They come in, they lowball the heck out of us. We gotta sit down with we gotta sit down with Napoli. We gotta get this right, bro. I need money here, by the way, and I need a lot of it. I need a ton of money here. Now, losing him is not that big of a deal because I have Aubameyang. Um, a lot of Arsenal fans gonna be mad at me. I know that. Oh, you, I already know y'all going to be mad at me because y'all like your Lacazette, trust me. I, I know y'all like Lacazette. I know y'all do. But somebody, something's got to give. The culture around this team, it's not working. Something's got to give. 49 million, bro. I need you to come. I need you. I need you. I need you to come up to at least 60, man. Give me 60, bro. His current value is 36. We don't want the negotiations to fall through. They accept 60 million. They said anywhere from 52 to 77. I sold them for 60 million. What do y'all say to that? W or L? 60 million. 60 million is what we get for, for Lacazette. Is it enough? I don't know. I truly, deep down inside, I don't know. I don't know if that was enough, bro. I don't know if I could have gotten more. Yo, we lose in the semifinals of that tournament. I don't know if that was enough, homies. Lacazette sold, which means it's time we cannot afford to pay his release clause. Whoa! I did everything for you. I did everything for this man. I did everything to get this man, yo. I gave, I did everything to get him. I did absolutely everything to get him. I sold Lacazette. I sold every, I, I did everything to get him and it's not happening. How about Mbappe, yo? How about Mbappe? We got to make this happen. We got to make Mbappe happen, bros. It's got to be done. Big boy Mbappe, though. Can we make Mbappe happen? Dude, Mbappe's a W, by the way. If we get Mbappe, we put him at striker. Aubameyang could be on the left or opposite. Aubameyang, yo, we can make things happen right here. We can legitimately make things happen. Mbappe to Arsenal. It's a star. It's another star, dude. We do the same thing that we were going to do with Neymar, but we do it with big boy Mbappe. Let's make it happen, man. I am going to offer 120 to kick it off. What are we saying? 196. Jeez. 196. How about 140? Um, with a sell-on clause. What are we saying? 140 is pretty good. Wow, they won't come down. Bros, they won't come down at all. I'm going to offer 160. 187. All I got is 180. I'm going to be left with nothing, bro. Oh, no. We'll accept that. I'm happy we could. No. One, yo, do I take that? Do we take that? Do we take Mbappe for 175? Do I take Mbappe for 175? I mean, it's a superstar. And then I would have to sell Uzil to get some center backs, sell David Luiz for some center backs, bring a couple players in on loan, 
We're throwing a lot at Mbappe, dude. It's a lot. We're throwing a lot at Mbappe. A ton. And we still need a cam. Unless we keep Brazil. My boys, this is where it gets at. But I want a star. I know a lot of y'all will laugh at me, but I want a star, dude. I want a star on this team. I need a star on this team. I feel like that's what I feel. I feel, dude, I feel like that's what's they want holding. Befica wants holding. Let's negotiate. Because now I can buy a center back. I just feel like this team needs this, man. I really, truly feel like this team needs a freaking star, man. Aubameyang and Mbappe together. Oof. 20 million. They're at 12. Um, uh, at least 17, dude. I understand you're not willing to part ways to give us 17 million for holding. It's not even somebody I really wanted to sell holding, but I do want to bring in a prime center back. So maybe that was a good move. I don't really see if we, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't have sold them. Maybe we should have. I want to bring in prime center back. So we're obviously going to have to get some money from somewhere. And I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Would you bring in Mbappe or would you not? And are you looking at Arsenal the way I'm looking at Arsenal? I know a lot of people, a lot of Arsenal fans are like, don't get rid of anyone. There's two players here I don't want to get rid of. The rest can go. Aubameyang and Pepe. That's it. For me, this team, it needs a makeover, bro. We need stars. We need players and we need stars and we need to win now. This team needs to be switched to a 4-4-2 flat. In my opinion, it needs to have Aubameyang here, Mbappe there. We got to pick up a winger. Unless Gabriel's our guy. We need midfielders. Uzil no longer a part of the squad. Maybe. If that's how we do it. David Luiz going to be leaving. We need one more center back. Socrates is okay. We'll bring in another center back. Mustafi will be a backup. Pick up a left back as well. And that's how we're going to get to the win. Actually, not Terranese. Terranese our left back. I'm lying. Terranese 100% our left back. We're good there. We need one solid midfielder. Box to box beast. Picking up Obami Mbappe, uh, maybe. And we need a beast center back. And this team has potential, dude. This team has a lot of potential past that point. But we need a star, in my opinion. It's been your boy's skills. Let me know if you agree with what I'm saying. We can pass on Mbappe, no problem. We walk away. I want a Neymar, dude. Neymar to Arsenal was the move. They don't want to sell him, unfortunately, because that's what I wanted to do. Now we got to pick up a CM, a center back, and Mbappe if he comes in. And then with some extra money, if we can get some money, we need to pick up a better left mid, in my opinion. That's why I'm at with the team. Hopefully you guys see my vision the same way I see it. I want to bring back Arsenal to the time when they had Burkamp, when they had big boy uh, uh, Vieira, when they had big boy Thierry Henry. They had superstars. It's time to bring some superstars back to Arsenal. Let me know if y'all agree. Big thumbs up, subscribe, and hopefully I see you back tomorrow for another Arsenal episode. If y'all don't want it, then we'll bring some ultimate team. It ain't no big deal, but I do love you guys, and I appreciate y'all watching. Booyah, we out.